Thanks again for seeing me so late, Dr. Bailey. So, how's everything? The usual. Just chugging along. But you're doing okay? Look, I know we've talked about this, but have you looked into tanning salons? Um, I, I haven't had the time, but I... I want to try to build up the melanin in your skin with low doses of ultraviolet light. Over time, I believe that will afford you some protection in case you're, uh, you have bad timing again with the sun. The thing is, I can't really afford it right now. And actually, I have to get to work. Cameron, I really want you to look into treatments. This nocturnal lifestyle, it's just not good for your health. I guess there's a reason why they call it the graveyard shift. Order up. Hey, Josh. Hey, what's up, Cameron? Hey. Hey, what, are you craving some Canadian comfort food tonight or something? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Um, can I get a traditional and a Philly? Extra spicy on the Philly? Yeah. Traditional, Philly, extra spicy. All right. Spicy. All right. Yeah, you got it, man. That'll be a 15. Oh, cool. So we're like, what? One meal now, second meal later. I don't see how you keep your figure, Cameron. No, it's for the boss man. Uh, how's work? Just slow and steady. Yeah. How about you guys? Not bad. Um, yeah, we're going to hit the convention center next week because of the expo. So, you know, should give us a couple solid days of business. Nice. Yeah. You know, I was making a delivery down at that new business park on Washington in Culver City. Uh -huh. Saw a few new startups. I don't know if you want to check it out, maybe stick your claim. Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, when are you going to get that truck of your own? Uh, I'm still saving up. Uh, but I'm cool right now. You know, I'm just cruising the streets, fighting for justice. <laughs> okay. Later, cowboy. Enjoy. Thanks. Hey, uh, what do you got? Well, that's it for now. I mean, I gave the only one I had to Kenny. Come on, man. You know I need the cash more than he does. Well, I'm sorry. Life of a courier. Feast of famine. But I promise I'll give you the next one, okay? Now, what's that? For me? What you got? Oh! Uh, what is it? Uh, poutine? Uh, wait a minute. Shouldn't there be a rule against using the word poo when naming a food? Look, it's a Canadian dish. It's French fries drizzled with their uh, signature gravy, and then topped off with white cheddar cheese curds. I mean, you had me a French fry. <laughs> we good. That's how you get more fun. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> That's cool, but uh, no fork? No drink? That's how you do me? No fork, no drink? You said get food. It's not that I'm not grateful. I'm just saying. You said get food. You didn't say get food and fork. Wow. I got to say get fork. OK. Around the clock deliveries. You know I got your back. I'll send somebody right to you. Quit looking at porn. <laughs> Look at you, busted. <laughs> Eddie, you know that stopped being funny like three years ago. Oh man, that's a classic. It's timeless. Anyway, I got you a run. Bam. That's your favorite customer. Oh, Martin. Yes, sir. More like your favorite client. What can I say? The dude pays. And he pays well. OK, where am I going? Well, you're going to go pick up a job at the printer, right, and bring the stuff back to his residence. Can you handle it? Yeah, cool. All right, cool. Thanks. Martin. Hey, hey, Cameron. Hot off the presses. Perfect timing as usual. Oh, ho, ho, ho. congratulations. I mean, you must be really excited. You're giving Tabasco and Sriracha a run for their money. Well, that's the idea. <laughs> oh, 
Hey, do you think you could... Never mind, forget it. No, uh, is everything all right? My daughter, she's coming into town tonight, and I was supposed to Wait, pick I'm, her I'm up. Wait, I'm sorry, did, did you say you have a daughter? Yeah, I haven't seen her for a while. Uh, she just finished her undergrad, she's taking a little time off before she comes to work for her old man. She's gonna help me run the empire. You must be really proud. Yeah, she's quite amazing. But I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see her much this time because, well, timing's bad all the way around. It's kind of a perfect storm with all these events coming together, you know what I mean? I mean, I hate seeing you in a bind, so if you want, I can pick her up for you. Really? Yeah. You're not too busy? That's kind of a slow night. Thank you. Thank you very much. That really helps me out a lot. You're welcome. Hey, no, hey, hey, wait, here. Um, oh. Here, this should, this should cover. That's too much. Well, look, just uh, take her out to food or don't. I don't care. It's yours. Thanks. Oh, uh, wait, the flight info? Ah, flight info. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, here, she's gonna be here and... <clears throat> Got it. Just pick her up and drop her off here. Sure, no problem. <laughs> wait, wait. Who told you you could book a run on your own? What if I needed you for a run? Uh, well, do you have a run for me, Eddie? No, but that's beside the point. Hey, relax, man. He paid me 100 okay? I'll make sure you get your cut. Whoa, we paid you 100 bucks for an airport run? He said I'm supposed to take her out for a bite to eat if she's hungry. I guess she'll have to starve now. Oh, so you put it on me. Thanks. Okay, tell you what. You keep the hundred, but go get some food with her right now. Thanks. And take her someplace she likes. Someplace nice. Not your little overpriced stupid food trucks or your greasy diner. All right, I don't want to get back to him that we didn't feed his daughter well. You understand? Okay, I'll take her to a steak and lobster place. Mommy, now you're talking. Oh, and you take her right back afterwards. Now, I don't need to remind you. Martin. It's probably our most important client. Now, you mess this up, and it won't be no more hundred dollar gigs coming from him. You hear me? Yeah, Eddie, I know that. Is there anything else, Dad? Yes. You don't have to be such a smart ass, son. <sighs> Jasmine? Jasmine, right? Yeah? Uh, who are you? Uh, here to pick you up. I'm Cameron. You're the guy my dad hired? Aren't you supposed to be in a suit? Where's your sign? Sign, I, uh... I'm sorry, I think there's a, a misunderstanding. I'm not like a, a driver driver. Your dad just asked me if I... Just <clears throat> It's me. Hey, Jasmine. You get in safely? Yeah, I did. Um, you got me a driver, right? Because there's a guy, uh, one sec. What's your name again? Cameron. There's the guy Cameron. He says he's here to pick me up. Yeah, that's Cameron. He's a good guy. Look, I'm sorry I couldn't be there personally to pick you up, but I'm kind of under staff right now and trying desperately to make this deadline. But you're in good hands. Cameron's one of my best delivery guys. Delivery guy. You hired a delivery guy to pick me up. You know, Martin, I, uh, never mind. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay, we'll talk later, Rob. So, uh, where's your car? It's that one. Oh. Something wrong? 
no. Um, I was just expecting something bigger, you know, like a van. Well, it's a hatchback. You'd be surprised how much fits back there. I bet. Let me get that. Oh, I, I got it. Shit. Sorry. Was that already there? Sure. been a delivery boy for my father. Courier. Excuse me? I prefer the term courier. When I hear delivery boy, I think of a pimply-faced teenager delivering pizzas. <laughs> okay. Uh, how long have you been a courier for him? Well, I don't work exclusively for your dad. What do you mean? I thought you said that. Well, he uses the courier service that I work for. That's why I was, uh, dropping off a few things for him. I noticed he was in a bind with work and, you know, meetings and also having to pick you up. I guess next time I'll have to make sure my schedule accommodates his. I didn't mean it like that. I was just trying to help, but... <sighs> Looks like that was a big mistake. Look, it was a long flight. I was expecting my dad, but, you know, he never fails to disappoint. Sorry for taking it out on you. You know, your dad seems like a really cool guy. He's always giving me free hot sauce whenever I drop off things from. So you're defending him now? No, you're right. I know him as a client and not as a father. seen worse. <laughs> you like playing with fire? Not afraid of getting burned? You don't know the half of it. You know what? How about we hit the reset button on tonight? Okay. Sounds good. I know you're really tired, so I'll take you straight home. What's up? Hey man, did you pick up Jasmine already? Yeah, she's actually in the car right now, and you're on speaker. Oh, uh, hi Jasmine. Welcome to LA. Thanks. So what's up? Let me know when you're done. I have a pickup for you in the Westchester area. You know, that's actually close by. Do you want me to pick it up now? You should take Jasmine home first, and then do the run. Wait, uh, would that be out of the way for you? I'm fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Well, I mean, if we're in the neighborhood, might as well pick it up now. Doesn't make sense to come all the way back. Um, that works for me. Ready? Okay. Then I insist. Yeah, if she insists, what can I say? I'll send you the info. Uh, nice to meet you, Jasmine. Thanks, you too.
Thanks for that. Thanks for the ride. Hey, Lou. Hey, thanks for coming so quickly. Um, so what you got? This. Mm. Hey, I'm gonna load this up. And if you want, you can take a look around. Sure, if you don't mind. Not at all. OK. For the pony. She's kind of rare, so I was asking a hundred for her. One hundred dollars? Hang on. Um, there's some on eBay for sixty. Mm -mm, look closer at those listings. None of them is in as nice of a condition as mine. Believe me, I've looked. I priced her accordingly. Plus, none of those guys has an overhead like I do. I had one just like it when I was little. It was actually the first toy I ever remember getting. Ugh, for the next few years, it did not leave my side. Kind of gross if you think about it. I loved it so much. And then a few years ago, we accidentally sold it in a garage sale. All right, I'm prepared to offer it. Let's hear it. One thousand Taiwanese dollars. How much is that in American? Thirty, give or take fifty cents. <laughs> you are not the first pretty girl to come into the store with a story like that. Sorry, but the price is firm. You sure? Mm -hmm. All set. Yeah. I'm just gonna finish up some paperwork, then we'll uh, head home. Okay, um, I'll just wait outside. It's nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. All right. Hey. 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 How's it going? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Heard, uh, heard about the skiing accident. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh, be careful. Oh, there she is. Hi, hi. Here you go. Come on, yes. <laughs> Ooh, this is, here, yeah, I'll take, I'll take. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. No, I, uh, I can't. Maybe I should help. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's, if you wouldn't mind, that'd be fantastic. Excellent. <laughs> Come on. All right. Oh. All right. Let's get you back. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just looking for items of ill repute. You know, drugs, money, drug money. I keep that stuff in the back. Smart. I would do the same. <laughs> Why do you have a video game controller in here? That's actually a business card holder I made. See? Oh, around the clock deliveries. Oh, wow, you guys run 24 7? Around the clock, 24 7. Do you like me on delivery? Oof, courier. Yeah. You work mostly nights? Sunset to sunrise. Whoa, you're basically nocturnal. Like a vampire. Mm. That 
That's probably why I glitter in the sunlight. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What do you do? I am uh, figuring things out at the moment. Is that why you're in LA? Um, no, LA is just a layover for me. All right, so what's with the video game theme? Are you like a big gamer? No, it's kind of like a reminder that at the end of the day, my job is basically one big video game. What do you mean? Well, you know those games where, I don't know, you have to like go down a cave to find a key and then use that key, go down another cave, open up a treasure chest, around and around in circles you go. It helps me deal with the monotony. I don't know. You're more like Santa Claus to me. I never thought about it that way before. This is it. Yeah. You've never been? No, I haven't been to LA since his business took off. He's done really well for himself. Yeah, the hot sauce king of SoCal. You guys aren't very close, huh? Good one, Sherlock. What about your mom? She's... Actually, I wanted to ask you. Never mind. What? Have you seen him with any women? Look, every time I do a drop-off for him, he's either by himself or with an assistant or two. And it's always been professional. I promise. Thanks. Like I said, your dad's a cool guy. He's all right. Well, thanks for driving me. Uh, is there any paperwork I need to fill out? Oh, yeah, actually, um, if I can get your signature to confirm that I delivered you to the correct address. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I do have something for you. What is this? Oh, my God. Cameron. Well, I saw the look on your face when you saw it, so. Uh, I, I don't know if I could accept this. Well, that might be a problem because um, Lou, he has a really strict no return policy. And I'm terrified of horses or anything horse-like. <laughs> so you have no choice. Uh, consider it a small souvenir. Come here. Give me a hug. You're silly. Have a good night. <laughs> good night. Hey. See? You are like Santa Claus. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Hey, sweetie, did you get home okay? Yeah, where are you? Oh, well, we had a mistake in the proof, and so now I'm, I'm scrambling with the designers to try to get it fixed. Probably gonna pull an all-nighter. So I'm gonna be here at the office. Look, I, I, I gotta go, they're calling me. But you get some rest, all right? I wanna pick that big business brain of yours. Sure.
Uh, hello? You did that wrong. Who's this? I take it you don't get very many calls. Is this Jasmine? Bingo. But you still answered the phone wrong. I'll give you another chance. Uh, hi, Jasmine? Wrong again. I'm calling the number on your business card. Get the hint? No, I'm hanging up. Hi, around the clock deliveries. Cameron speaking. Hello, Mr. Cameron. My name is Jasmine. I hear you guys do pickups and deliveries anytime, is that correct? Aren't you gonna ask, how can I help you? You know, I'm gonna have to give you a negative review on Yelp for uh, your terrible customer service. I'm sorry, let me... Start over. Uh, hi, around the clock deliveries. Cameron speaking. How may I help you? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mr. Cameron. I have a very important pickup. Oh, did you uh, forget something at the airport? Airport? How did you know I was at the airport? I'm just a customer calling for the first time. Okay, um, what time would you like one of our drivers to stop by? ASAP. Now, if possible. Okay, what's your address? Uh, um, I'm not sure, hold on. I think you know it. Um, how would I know the address if you're calling for the first time? Okay, fine. It's where you dropped me off. Okay, I'll see you soon. Dork. Long time no see. Yeah. Uh, so, what's this important pickup? Me? Not that I'm complaining, but why? I just can't be in this house right now. What's wrong? Well, for one, there is no food. Tons of hot sauce, but no food. Not funny. Wait, so are you asking me to take you out to get food? Um, if I recall earlier, you did mention you would feed me. So I'm just taking you up on the offer now. Yeah, right, I did, didn't I? You're stuck with me. Oh, uh, let me grab my jacket really quick. Hey, Eddie. It's pretty slow, right? Mm, yeah, why? I'm gonna call it a night, man. I'm not feeling so well. Is that cool? Oh, man, I was hoping you could pick up a snack for me. Just get Kenny to do it. I don't want to give you any of my germs. Uh, okay, uh, all right. Let me feel, feel better, okay? Oh, wow. I didn't realize how late it was. Wait, is there anything still open right now? I don't mean to brag, but you're kind of talking to the expert in late night food spots. Excuse me. So what do you feel like? American, Asian, Mexican? Asian. Japanese. Except that. But anything else is fine. <laughs> Korean? Sure. So, you've had Korean tofu before, right? Mm, there wasn't much variety in the town by my college. It was mostly like bars and burgers. So, yeah, bring on the kimchi. I am starving. So, you're okay with spicy? 
You're talking to the daughter of the hot sauce king? Yeah, I was probably sucking on habaneros while you were on formula. Is that why you're so short? You're just abnormally tall. So it must have been cool growing up in your home. I feel like your dad would have made a lot of great dishes. Are you kidding? <laughs> uh, our kitchen was more like my dad's lab. And for every great hot sauce recipe, there were probably a dozen epic fails. And I'm talking Montezuma's Revenge meets Inferno. You. Sorry, it was spicy and spicy out. Couldn't help it. <laughs> so, no, there was no traditional like family gathering around the table. Me and my mom, we were his poor lab rats. I love this conversation. Thank you. Thanks. Mm. Thank you. This looks amazing. Mm, yeah. Mm hmm. Egg. Everything is better with an egg. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. What do you think? It's really good. So you got this whole like foodie thing going on, huh? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I like trying out different places, you know, when I'm in a new area in LA. Any favorites? A lot. But uh, I guess I tend to like hole in the walls, mom and pop places. I feel like they prepare their food with like just a little more care, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it'd be great to open up one of those places one day. Really? Yeah, eventually. But for now, I would really like to open up a food truck. Well, I mean, food trucks are the way to go now. And actually, it's a great way to beta test your food without having to go all out with a restaurant. I never thought about it that way. I have great ideas. Well, I mean, realistically, it's the only thing I can afford, so. Well, what kind of food would you serve? The idea is to serve comfort food. You know, uh, meatloaf, mac and cheese, fried rice. With Spam? With Spam. Mm. French fries. You know, anything you or your mom would make for a late night snack or a, a study break. For me, uh... <laughs> It was always breakfast for dinner. Exactly. Waffles and fried chicken. French toast. All right, all right. Enough talking, more eating. Get some kimchi. Oh, I'm full. Ready? Yeah. Hey. Don't forget this. Oh, thank you. I'm always doing that. This is actually a really important jacket to me. I don't know, I guess because I survived college with it. Man, it's in great shape. I feel like all my clothes have either holes or stains on them within like a year. What kind of... Taking it too far again. You want some coffee? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, is there an instruction manual? This is gonna be great. So, this is the condensed milk on the bottom. Here is the coffee and the filter. Key with this is timing. Bet you do this with a lot of girls. No, nope. first time. Liar. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it and loosen the filter. Whoa. Now what? We wait for the coffee to drip through and enjoy. It'll take a few minutes. So? So. Do you have a girlfriend? 
Uh, no. Why not? I don't know. I mean, my schedule doesn't help, among other things. Other things? What about you? <laughs> what about me? Boyfriend? boyfriend I can think of. Let me guess, guys are intimidated by your independent spirit. Are you? Well, yeah, you're royalty. If your dad is the hot sauce king, that kind of makes you the hot sauce princess. You think I'm a princess? Uh, yeah, miss. I was expecting something bigger, like a van. Uh, first of all, I don't sound like that. And second, okay, how would you feel if you just showed up to a strange city and then this sketchy looking dude's like, hey, let me take you home in my beater of a car. Yeah, you sound like that. So you think I'm a sketchy looking guy? Just a little bit. First impression. <laughs> my car is not a beater, it's an SI. All right, so all we do is mix the coffee and the milk and enjoy. I hope you like it. Whoa, this is potent. It's pretty sweet. Told you. Okay, it's good. <laughs> so you mentioned earlier that LA is just a layover. What's your final destination? Japan. Wow. So that's why you didn't want Japanese earlier? Yeah. Is everything okay? Yeah. I'm just enjoying a good old cup of joe. So caffeine has no effect on you, obviously. <laughs> hey, I have a great idea. Uh, does it have the potential to land one of us in prison? No, I'm serious. OK, what is it? Can we watch an awesome sunrise? Oh, come uh, on, Casanova. You know, like, all the cool places in LA. You're holding out on me. Why do I have a feeling that you're avoiding your father? So glad you can deal with it like an adult. Fine. I'll go home, eventually. <laughs> Come on, don't you want to watch the sunrise with me? Yeah. Yes. <sighs> this is gorgeous. Yeah. Hey, turn on some music. Oh, what do you? Oh, it's warm out. one of my alarms. Uh, you know, I actually have to get going. What? Wait, right now? Yeah, I, 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 I'm sorry, I forgot that I have this thing. And, you know, I'm, can we, 
Can we go? I'll... Uh, oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, easy there, Speed Racer. Look, I'm just really late for a meeting, okay? It's really early for a meeting. Look, are you trying to get rid of me? No, I'm not. Look, just let me focus on getting you home right now. Okay, fine. I would walk you in, but uh, I'm already kind of late, so. Don't worry about it. Forget it. Track of time again, buddy? It's a long story, man. Do you mind if I crash here? Sure, man, no problem. Uh, level three should be pretty empty. All right. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 man. Don't, don't sweat it, man. Just, just get out of the sun, all right? Thank you. Yeah, just go. Come on, go, go, go. Hey, princess, I just got in. Are you awake? Mm. Well, hey, how about a hug? I haven't seen you in, like, forever. All right. Sure. Hi. <laughs> That's my girl. Mm. Hey, you think we could grab breakfast? I can't right now, honey. I I gotta catch a few quick hours of sleep and then it's back to the office. We gotta prep for our pitch. Yeah. Hey, I tell you what. Why don't you come by later and we'll do our presentation for you. Huh? Huh? I'd love to get your feedback. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll send a driver for you later, okay? Night. Nice seeing you. Is this Jasmine? Yeah, who's this? My name is Dennis. I'm a friend of Cameron's. I have a jacket that I believe belongs to you. Cameron said you left it in his car. Shit. Um, yeah, that's mine. How can I get it back? I can't leave my post right now, but if you can get down to the parking structure at Sunset and Flower, I can get you the jacket. Uh, hang on. What was the address again? 170 South Flower. Got it, thanks.
Hi. Are you uh, De Dennis? Jasmine? Yes. Thank you. Um, look, maybe it's not my place, but... What? You just met Cameron, right? Yeah. Well, he seemed pretty broken up when he gave me that jack. Is there a point? I'm, I'm sorry. I just have to go. He would be pissed if I told you, but Cameron's here. What? He's in one of the lower levels. What, what do you mean he's here? Why didn't he just give me the jacket himself? I've already said too much. Yeah, I, I gotta get going. Yeah, yeah! Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Sorry. Uh, Jasmine, what are you doing here? I, I came to get my jacket. What happened to your face? You were supposed to get it from Dennis. Why don't you want to see me? Look, are you are you in trouble with the law? Are you homeless? What? No, I'm not homeless. Well, what is it then? Hey, let me in. What is going on? I have a condition. I'm allergic to the sun. You're kidding. Why didn't you tell me? There wasn't really a good time. You could have told me. Oh, God. You should have told me. Look, it's embarrassing, okay? That alarm, when we were gonna watch the sunrise? It's a UV sensor. Hey, do you mind if we not talk about this? Okay. Well, now what? Look, you should go home. Dennis can call you a cab. I can give you money for it. Stop, stop. What about you? I'm gonna sleep here until the sun sets. You're gonna stay here? I don't have many options. I had to make sure. <laughs> hey, give me your keys. Why? I'll take you home. Jasmine, you don't have to do that. Fine. Wait. You know how to drive a stick? Yeah, my, uh, my ex was a real gearhead. Loved his car more than he loved me. You know, now I know what Han felt like when he handed over the Falcon to Lando. To Star Wars. Yeah, I get that, it's Star Wars. Are you, uh, referring to yourself as Han Solo or your car to the Millennium Falcon? Both? Thanks again, Dennis.
Make yourself at home. Sorry for the mess. Not used to having people over. Everything okay? Um, uh, yeah, it, it's fine. Can I come in? Why? I just want to make sure you're okay. Hey. Talk about Beauty and the Beast. to the infected areas. Yeah, all you need is a thin layer. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. How long have you had this condition? All my life. What's it called? Erythria poetic protoporphia. Try saying that fast three times. No. It's EPP for short. Is this cream helping at all? Supposedly. The burns heal, but the scars stay. Well, it looks like the swelling's going down. At least I don't look like a leper anymore. Stop. You look fine. Just a little sun kiss. You want to watch TV or something? Sure. Where's this mysterious TV of yours? Uh, if you have a seat, I'll show you. Okay. Ah. Since it's always dark in here for obvious reasons, I thought it'd be cheaper to get a projector. Smart. And you get to have a huge screen. Yeah, it's great for movies. And other things. Tired? Mm, your couch is comfy. Let me get you a blanket. Mm, thank you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you want me to set an alarm? Nah, I just need a few hours. Okay, good night. Good night. Uh, I overslept again. Hey, Jasmine, I gotta get back to the office, but... Jasmine? 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 Jasmine, leave a message. 
Hey. Hey, Eddie. Hey, man. This is Martin. How you doing there, Martin? You know, it's funny. I've been working on my golf swing. I'm almost ready for a rematch. <laughs> hey, look, I'm sorry to bother you, but my daughter seems to be missing. Wait a minute. Uh, Cameron didn't drop her off? Oh, no, he did. I saw her a while ago, but she's gone now. She didn't leave word, and she's not picking up her cell phone either. When's the last time you've seen her? Just a few hours ago. Uh, um, actually, three hours ago, I guess. <laughs> three hours. Okay, Martin, she's an adult. She probably hopped in a cab and went to go check out the city. You know LA's a fun place. Come on, huh? Yeah, I suppose so. Hey, where are you? I think it was a mistake trying to see you this time. And I know you're busy, so I'm just gonna stay with a friend for the rest of my time here. No hard feelings, okay? Uh, bad timing, I guess. Jasmine, I'm sorry. Let's try to have coffee at least. All right. It's okay, let's just take a rain check. Focus on your presentation, okay? Wait. You still sleeping? Shit. I'm sorry, man. I I overslept. The hell? You're not playing hooky with Jasmine, are you? What? No. Listen, Eddie. There's some shit that's going down right now. I I can't come in tonight. I have to talk to you later. Wait. Jasmine, you scared me. I thought something happened. <laughs> Come here. I want to show you something. Ta-da! It's okay. You don't understand yet. Hold on. <laughs> And, ta-da!
Thank you. See? You got to share a sunrise after all. It's amazing. figured out how to hook all this stuff up. <laughs> no one's ever done anything like this for me before. Hey. Are you hungry? Maybe. Why? I want to cook for you. Really? Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to do that. Seriously. What do you like to eat? I have steak, pasta... Honestly, I can just... No, it, it's okay. No, just say it. How about a cheeseburger? Will you marry me? <laughs> I'll take the cheeseburger. <laughs> Okay, I'm definitely hungry now. Can I help with anything? I'm just sitting here. No, just relax. I'm almost done. Is that medium rare okay? Yeah, that's fine. Well, what about toppings? Do you like onions? Mm, yeah, give me all the fixings. Ooh. Bon appetit. I hope you like it. It's, mm, it's amazing. Oh my God. Seriously, this is one of the best burgers I've ever had. Mm. I love the crunch from the sear and the meat, but the burger's so juicy. Mm. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm taking a photo for future reference. Your reaction is kind of better than any five-star review. Here. So, um, how did you know when you wanted to be a cook? I guess it started when I was about six. I was on a family trip from hell. There was this, um, amusement park nearby and they were having a special event where they would stay open for a whole 24 hours. My parents used to take me there, but because of my condition, I couldn't go on all of the rides before it closed. Mm -hmm. But on this day... You guys to go on all the rides. Yeah, before the sun came up, exactly. I would finally get the full park experience. Mm. Doesn't... Sound bad so far? <laughs> well, then there was the trip back. We were stuck in gridlock traffic and um, my mom was getting really anxious about the sun coming up. My dad needed to use the bathroom, but he was afraid of stopping. Then I was just being like a little brat. On top of all that, we were starving. Things were coming to a boiling point when my dad decided to take the nearest exit and 
make a beeline for the nearest hotel before, you know, dawn came. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah, it's fine. We found a hotel, he checked us in, covered up all the windows, and then he rushed out to look for food. A few minutes later, he came back with these two gigantic steaming bags. I know it doesn't sound very good, but... No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how amazing those bags smelled. My dad found this Mexican restaurant down the street. I guess they specialized in breakfast burritos. It's my first time having one, but uh, it was delicious. Yeah, I guess, um, I guess that burrito was the first time I realized the power of good food. Ah, so you wanted to wield that power ever since? Mwahaha. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, except for, for good and not evil, like some people. Me? What time's your flight? It's early, it's 6 a.m. So we should get you there by four? You can take me? Of course. Do you want to see your dad? I, um... You know how I told you earlier I'm going to Japan? Yeah. I'm going there for a while. It's for a job, not vacation. What kind of job? There's this program, and it's mostly for recent grads. I really regretted not studying abroad during my undergrad, and so I'm gonna go there to teach English. That's great. For how long? At least a year. And if I like it, I have the option of staying an additional two. Wow. So, potentially three years. Yeah. My dad doesn't know. Wait, what? I haven't told him. I mean, that was the whole reason I made the layover in LA. I wanted to see him, to tell him, but um, that's pointless. You shouldn't say that. No, it's true. I mean, nowadays, the only way my dad knows how to express love is through dollar signs. Hey, honey, sorry I missed your graduation, but uh, here's a red envelope filled with cash. You should really tell him. No, it doesn't matter. I rarely see him now. We even skip some holidays. Look, I, the whole time that I've been here, I've just gotten into arguments with him and the only pleasant memories I have are with you. So, can we just enjoy the next few hours together?
So are these here every night? Uh, depends. I think they're here for the game tonight. You can actually follow most of these trucks online. So any recommendations? Uh, it depends. What are you in the mood for? I don't know. It's gonna be hard to top that burger you made me. Oh, hey, have you talked to these guys to see if they need help? There could be a job opening. Uh, no, I just, uh, I just enjoy the food. Why haven't you asked? I don't know. I... I'm just waiting for the right time. Okay. Wait, what? what no. What's wrong? Look, let's just order food, okay? What's the rush? I'm not gonna get a job tonight. What's the rush? Cameron, how long have you wanted to be a chef? Why? How long? All my life. I'm here for the next few hours, so... Which is why we should focus on you. Shh. Cameron, just take a first step. Hey, I'm having a great time tonight, but... I'm just worried about you when I leave. I'll be fine. I'm worried you're gonna keep working for Eddie. I like Eddie. Yeah, but you love cooking. And you're so incredibly talented. I don't know, maybe you reached a level of security working for him, but I know that's not what you wanna do. Just give it a chance. It's not that simple. Uh, look, I took a chance getting into your weird car and look where that got me. Look where it got us. Jasmine, I know what you're trying to do and I appreciate it, I do. But there are realities about my life that you don't understand. Like, I'm not like you. I can't just pick up and start a new life in another country. Listen, let's order some food first. Okay. And while we're eating, you can Help me decide which truck to approach. Sometimes you just need a little kick in the ass to get things going. Is that what you're doing? I'm kicking you in the ass. Yo, got him. He's by the food trucks. I texted the address. So, which one were you thinking about? I'm kind of feeling the fried chicken truck. Mm -hmm. The chef is French and I think I can learn a lot from him. Oh, well, you know, that French fried chicken, that's what it's about. <laughs> Just don't eat it every night. I was kind of hoping to add heart disease to my list of medical issues. Yeah, it's a good one. It's on my list. What is up, guys? Yo, Cam, you got a little uh, something on your face. Oh, I'm allergic to douchebags. What are you doing here, Kenny? It's on a break in the neighborhood. Better yet, what are you doing here? Uh, Eddie told me you couldn't come into work today. I guess this is the reason why. I don't blame you. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm Kenny. Jasmine, are you Eddie's worker? He's just another driver. Oh, not just another driver, Eddie's best. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, uh, you can drive into this freak show's economic car night long. I'm gonna check out my suit right over there. A little leather interior, uh, HD screens if you wanna watch yeah, TV. Yeah, no thank you. Looks really unsafe and I'm leaving. Heartbreaker. Um, don't you have another run to go on? Shh, don't be rude. Shh, that's interesting. Um, he's not the one labeling someone with a health condition as a freak or interrupting a dinner to talk about a shitty car. Compensating much? Jasmine? 
Martin? Martin. Sorry, bro. Should've took her someplace else. You're pretty predictable. What a douchebag. Um, Martin, I can't believe you did this to me, Cameron. I thought you were my friend. This is my daughter. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, keeping a father away from his daughter. Martin, I'm sorry. I was being selfish. Stop, you don't have to apologize. Martin, I wanted to spend time with him. And what are you even doing here? This is so uncalled for. Look, he was just taking care of me, which is more than I can say about you. Ever since I got to LA, I've just been second fiddle to your stupid job. I was worried about you. Sure. I called you a number of times. Why did you not pick up? Okay, so now you care? Why is it that you can call me whenever you please, but I can only reach you when your precious schedule permits? I'm sorry. I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. The timing this time, it was just- This time. This time, the timing was unfortunate. You're my daughter. I know you're leaving soon, and I want to see you before you leave. I'm so happy your schedule can accommodate me now. <sighs> Look, I'll deal with you later. Right now, I gotta get them back. I told you I needed those proofs today. Yes, today does not mean tomorrow. It means today. Well, yeah, I know. But that's what, that's what I'm talking about. Thanks. Yeah, you got it. Hey, where are you going? Look, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. So, is that it? You're leaving? You wanted to see me before I left? There, you saw me. I'm leaving. Hey, hey. Talk to me. I don't even know where you're going. The airport. No, I meant... Where are you flying to? Japan. I'm going to Japan. Wow. <laughs> well, that's quite a trip. It should be a fun vacation. You've always wanted to go, right? What? Why are you so mad at me? Uh, uh, <laughs> what? I told you I can't talk right now. Oh. OK. I'll be there. I'll be there. Jasmine, look, there's, there, there's an emergency at the office. I gotta go. Yeah. But I want to discuss this with you further. Go, just go. You know what? I'll, I'll just give you a call when I land. Hopefully you won't be too busy to pick it up. <sighs> I can't believe this. I mean, what were you thinking, huh? What? You two gonna just run away together and live happily ever after? No, I was just trying to show her a good time before she flew out. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Man, you could have cost me a lot of business tonight. Eddie, look, fire me or don't fire me, OK? Because I don't care anymore. Well, I can't fire you, not now at least. As much as I hate to admit this, you're one of the best drivers that I have right now. So if I fire you right now, there's nobody to replace you right now. Don't even think about it. Dude, she leaves in a few hours, okay? Why prolong that pain? Out of sight, out of mind, like, you gotta trust me on this, man. Come on, you gotta run to go do it. Go do it.
Park Deliveries, this is Cameron. Leave a message. Hi. <laughs> Sorry? What can I get for you? I think I'm okay. <sighs> Why are you colorblind? These are all wrong. They're too saturated. Why didn't you run a proof and get my approval first? Uh, we wanted to, but you weren't. But what? We're gonna have to run a whole new set. You were out trying to find your daughter, and we were trying to make her dead. Uh -huh. Sorry. Great. What are you doing here, sir? I know I'm the last person you want to see right now. Please make it quick and leave. Sir, I, um... Cut the sir crap, Cameron. If you wanted to show me some respect, you wouldn't have run away with my daughter. We weren't running away, Martin. Look, with all due respect, you're the person she wanted to see all night, not me. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm grateful for the time I spent with Jasmine, but... You want a pat on the back for entertaining my daughter? Here, tell you what. Here you go, here's some more money for your trouble, okay? It's great because money solves everything, right? Why do you kids have to be so dramatic? I'm sorry I, I wasn't there for Jasmine, but I'm looking at the bigger picture here. Do you realize that if this pitch is successful, Jasmine won't have to worry about money for the rest of her life? No, oh, she's mad at me now, but she's gonna go to Japan and she's gonna have a great shopping spree. Martin, do you, do you even know why Jasmine's going to Japan? Yeah, she's always wanted to go. She'll be there a few weeks, she'll, she'll get some great new shoes. And I'll get a big bill on my credit card. You know, she's right. You can only express your love in dollar signs. Wait, who said I wanted to go with you? Oh, uh... Sucker. <laughs> That's really cold. Hey. Come here. I called. I know. At a momentary bout of stupidity. Momentary? I so miss this. It's 
really good to see you too. Hey, you think we have time to stop by the beach? Uh, I'm not sure. But let me get your luggage. It's too bad we didn't get a chance to stop by the beach. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't want you to miss your flight. I bet a year from now, you're gonna be some famous food truck entrepreneur. Tons of people are gonna line up for Chef Cameron's comfort burger. That'll be a distant memory. Yeah, well, you'll be off shaping young minds, making a difference, going on adventures in Japan. I'll be a distant afterthought. We can write each other every day. I know you'll get busy and... I don't want to make promises we can't keep. But I promise I'll get in touch with those food truck guys. Pinky swear. No take backs. <laughs> I need this hand. <laughs> Um, this doesn't look like the airport. I kind of lied. What? We actually do have a little bit of time before your flight. But I need to show you something. Whoa. That is quite a view. Is this another makeout spot? This is gonna be nothing compared to Tokyo. Um, I don't know. They haven't assigned me a place yet, so might be a small rural town. Hey, um, earlier you asked me about my parents. Um, it's okay, we don't have to talk about it. No, I, I wanna tell you about them. And I really wish you could have met them because they would have loved you. Oh, are they? Car accident. It happened right at that intersection. Oh my God. Cameron, I'm so sorry. Look, it was a long time ago and I try not to think about it anymore. Burns heal, scars stay. Wait, what is my dad doing? Did you? No, please, please don't be mad. Look, you've done so much for me tonight, and I want to do the same for you. Cameron, I don't want. Jasmine, listen. I don't know the history between you and Martin, okay? And I don't expect you to fix things in one night. But I do know your dad is a good guy. And he's trying. My parents can't anymore. I'm not asking you to forgive him right away. I just want to know that you'll at least take the first steps. Hey, I made a promise to you that I'm going to talk to the food truck guys, and I will. But you have to promise me you'll talk to your dad. You have to tell him why you're going to Japan. Okay? Can't believe you pulled the orphan card. 
You would do the same to me? No. Yes, you would. Fine, but I've learned it from the best. Look, I'll, I'll be right here. Hey. I found him in your room. Captain Flapjack, right? Can't believe you still remember his name. <laughs> Captain Flapjack? Well, he was your favorite. You know, when you were little, you used to go on all these adventures, and Captain Flapjack never left your side. When you were six, it's all you ever wanted for your birthday. Captain Flapjack, Captain Flapjack. So me and your mom, we... We ended up buying you exactly the same thing. Communication was never my big suit. Totally forgot about all that. I haven't been the best father lately. I want you to know that the reason why I work so hard is because I want your life to be secure. I don't want you to have to put up with the hardships that I had to put up with when I was your age. I'm going to Japan to teach English. Um, I was so nervous about telling you. Well, Jasmine. Look, it, it's not permanent or anything. I, I have to go for me. I know the plan was I'm supposed to work for you now that I'm done with school. I'm not sure. I, I just, I have to at least try and make a future for myself, you know? The way that you did. Like, I'm really proud of you and all your accomplishments. I, I am. But, um... I have to take my own path right now. I just want... I need to hear that you're okay with this, Martin. Dad. Meet my dad. Okay. Really? I'm oh, sorry if I disappointed you. Jasmine. You will never disappoint me. Look at the woman you've become. You're not my little girl anymore. God. I think a part of me is always going to be your little girl. I love you. I love you too. Can I have a moment in private with him? Hey. Hey. I just wanted to say. Thank you. Yeah. No, I'm saying thank you for tonight. Come here. I'll never forget this night. I'll never forget you. Took the words right out of my mouth. Again. <laughs> Cameron's on the rescue. Something like that.
Goodbye. Bye. I need those spring rolls. See the light of a new day.